the market fails to break out, then plunges into dangerous waters. Can the bulls find a bottom, or is it down we go? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, we talked about the fact that breaking major support but not critical support puts us in a neutral area of the market where we're neither bearish nor bullish. We are waiting for the market to find its footing after the big move down on Monday, which would likely include a lot of whipsaw, and we have seen just that as the market failed to break out and plunge down into dangerous territory yesterday. Now the question is, can the bulls hold support, or is it down we go? I'll get into that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, the market is plunging toward major support, so let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500, and off of this low, we were looking for an ABC bounce up to the 54.22, 55.81 area. Bears really want to hold it under 54.93. Bulls want to get it over 55.81. And so far, we have seen nothing totally out of the ordinary for that particular path to play out. The first move up hit the 382 retrace, which is a very common A of B target, and then proceeded to sell off from there and is now approaching critical support. Now, this is the part that's a little bit abnormal as you're seeing this straight sell to the downside here. That can be a little bit worrisome if they continue and break support. We'll talk about that in just a second. But for the up move, hitting the 382 and rejecting is very common. Then we'd look for them to hold support here, come back up and break through into the 5422 to 5493 area for the Bears. They would want to push down from there. Over 5493 becomes a warning to the Bears. And over 5581 tells us we're likely on our way to 5830 to 5850. So, so far, nothing out of the ordinary except for the sell down. So let's talk about that because this is going to be our alternate count for now. And that is that all of wave B is already in and we're starting wave C to the downside. And what that would look like is this would be A, this would be all of B, then you'd have one of C likely down to the April lows here, two of C bounce, and then start breaking down and three of C. And that can get really ugly really fast. If this plays out and they break through 4902, then I think it's very likely we're headed towards the 3800 region for a bigger C wave pullback, which would be the first start of the major correction we've been talking about for some time. I've been warning that on this move up, as long as they're above support, it is bullish. But when they break support, we should expect a very big correction. And the bulls are up against that support right now. So we'll see if the bulls can find any fight here and get off of this level. If they can, then we're looking up into that 54.22 to 54.93 level. And above 55.81 becomes bullish in the market. If they hit here and start to turn down again and come down to these lows, that is going to be another very bearish sign. For the bears, the direct move down would be their path. And again, a breakthrough 49.02 would signal a major bearish market kicking off. Over on the NASDAQ. Okay, so on the NASDAQ, we continue to see a weaker overall market. The NASDAQ was able to get all the way down to its April lows and actually poke through them and hold and then reverse. They couldn't even get all the way back to their 382 before pulling back off of this move up. And now they have sold in a straight line down into their major critical support area. So the NASDAQ is looking more and more like a top is potentially in the further along we get. But until they fully break down below this level here, we are still able to see them um, reach back for one more all-time high. So what we'd be looking at here is overall they got up just short of the 382, which is weak. They're pulling back in a straight line, and they need to hold either 17,817 down to 17,642. If they can find a low in that area and come back and break out, we'd expect them to push to 19,175 to 19,603. And then we would look for them to start to come down in a five-wave pattern here where you get one of C, two of C, and then the breakdown on the NASDAQ. Now, if the bulls are able to find a bigger rally and push it back over the 20,132 level, that would signify that we could be ahead. That would signify that we're likely headed back to all-time highs at 22,000. That is our key level to the upside to tell us the bulls have really taken back control of the market. But as long as we're below 19,603, the bulls really need to be on warning of a major downside playing out. So we're going to watch the key levels. That's all that really matters. And we're in a state of neutrality because both these patterns are going to look the same. We're going to have an ABC up and then a BC to the all-time highs if that's how it's going to play out to the 
uh, all time highs. And we're going to have an ABC up whether we're in a corrective phase. So that's why it's a little bit tricky right now and why we're a little bit neutral on the market because both patterns will look similar. But under this 19603 area, the bears can still push this down and uh, make a new low below this. And if they start to cascade below that, we would be looking at the C wave down and that would be uh, a very strong sell off on the NASDAQ as well. So um, NASDAQ very similar but weaker than the ES, which is starting to show more and more signs that a top could be in on the NASDAQ. So again, just so we're clear here, the two paths both should be looking at this ABC where they hold 17,642 and push back up into the 19,175 to 603 area. If they break 17,642, the, bear, the bulls should be on alert for a major market meltdown at that point. So we'll have to watch and see if they're able to come down and get this set up to break down to the lows and through. And if they do, uh, it could be a lookout below moment. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link. It'll take you right over to our web page. Once you're there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible monthly plans that both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there, make sure you love it, and become part of our trading team before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. There's literally nothing to lose by checking us out because you get that seven-day free trial. We also have our educational material, our Elliott Wave 4 Beginners Online course, and our Advanced Elliott Wave course. These courses are helping people understand these complex markets and the danger and the critical levels that we are at now on these markets and how to understand when and where we may see this major correction. These courses are helping traders make money. And in the advanced course, we're going through the tougher patterns that are harder to spot in the market, such as your advanced FIB levels, your diagonals, your double and triple threes, your flats, triangles, and then how to trade Elliott Wave. Many people know how the basics of Elliott Wave, but don't really understand how to trade it. We go through all of that. And as you can see on the screen, our members are loving it. They're making money. It's really helping them out. But I do understand that this is an advanced course. So if you're just starting an Elliott Wave, we have our Elliott Wave for Beginners online course. This course is helping real traders make real money and finally understand this market in a way that makes sense. It can be so confusing when good news makes the market go down and bad news makes the market go up. As we see time and time again with earnings and Fed and CPI, the news doesn't make any sense. That's because Elliott knew that the news cycles were garbage long ago. And he knew that key levels mattered. He knew what happened when those key levels held and what happened when they broke. And this gives you a huge trading advantage over the rest of the market. This course is 25 videos where we go through three different sections. The introduction, the chart setup and tools, and the Elliott Wave for beginners. In the introduction, we go over your expectations, your mindset, and the KISS method and why this works. Chart setup and tools, we go through all the tools you need to use with Elliott Wave Theory, why we use them and how we use them. And the Elliott Wave for beginners area, we go through each of the waves, how to measure them, how to understand them, find their parameters, find these key levels, use the theory of alternation, the corrective depth theory, the pivot, everything you need to know to make sense of an irrational market. The cool thing about both of these plans is if you want to get them for a discount, we have our bundle and you can get both of them together for a $37 discount. However, if you don't want to pay anything at all, you can simply join one of our monthly rooms as all of our educational material is included in those rooms. In our first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, a midday video where I go over exactly where we are in the counts and give you other stuff in there as well. Today, I spent the first 10 minutes of the call going over how critical and how cautionary of an area this is in the market that you really don't want to be heavily invested to the long side right now until you see some confirmation and where you can put your money to protect it should we see this downside move happen. We give lots of individual charts and everything else on that call. It is a very, very uh, informative call and I think well worth the price of admission and it happens every single day. We, you also get all the training material you just saw. We trade the SPY and the QQQ and we swing in day trade. So we do trade quite often in my room. Now, if you're looking for futures trading, individual stocks, if you're looking for income trading or advanced training, you need to check out PT's throne room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as individual stocks, futures trading, PT's income trading that I show you at the beginning of every month. He crushes it, guys. He absolutely crushes it. And his reduced risk binary method that gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money. And it's how he structures that trade that's so unique. Something you really have to see to understand. And that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we'd love to have you in these rooms so we can all make money together. Key takeaways for today. 
Bulls really need to hold support. They're pushing through the 618 into the 764 here. If they break through 5177, it's very likely we test these lows. If they break those, it's very likely we could see a major selling event occur. If they can find support, we would expect them to push back up to 5422 to 5493 and then push back down from there. However, back over 5581 does turn this market bullish again and have us looking back to all-time highs. Over on the NASDAQ, same thing over here. They need to hold the 17,642 area. If they can hold 17,642, we would look for them to push back up to the 19,175 to 19,603 region. Back over 20,132 tells us we're on our way back to all-time highs. But if they push down from there, it is a major warning to the bulls. Guys, that is your market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.